This is Alan Olson's American Dreams, Keys to Life Success, where we talk about how to live the life that you want to live. What are your dreams? What do you want out of life? And what defines success? It's Saturday morning. Are you doing your chores? Enjoying your day off? Or maybe you're cleaning up your inbox with all that email that you got uh, last night. I tell you, the uh, email today in electronics has certainly made life interesting. But let's get back to uh, where we are in the economy. Alan, you know, the unemployment rate in America now is about 9.1% currently. Many people are looking for options to where to find income. They, everybody's got to put bread and butter on the table, right? What would you suggest to individuals who are looking for ways to bring in some income? You know, it's interesting. Uh, starting your business is not a bad option. You know, there's a, there's a need in this economy to keep going. You know, life won't always give you what you want and what you're expecting, but nevertheless, we still have to continue to live life. And uh, if you find yourself out of work, you know, and, and you're out there in the, the job market, well, one solution there if uh, you're trying to keep things going is to go out and start your own business. Well, where would you suggest an individual starts to look for clients in business if, if they're really experimenting with entrepreneurial motives? You know, it, it's interesting. My, my brother... Actually, my, my uh, two brothers and myself, we're all entrepreneurs. And uh, one of my brothers turned to me one day and he says, um, he says, uh, Alan, he goes, making money is really easy. I said, really? He goes, how do you make money? He goes, well, you just find out where money's changing hands and you take a small transaction cost by adding some type of value to that transaction. Interesting. So, um, would there be any... How, how would you go about that? What are some, you know, perhaps, social network or what would you do if you wanted to start a business and get in between the money-changing brokerage? Well, I, th I think the first thing that you need to do is you need to really assess your network, where your talents are, where your gifts, and really where your passion is. last thing you want to start to try to do is, is to start working on something that you have no interest in. And there's lots of opportunities out there. If you just drive down the street, Look around you as you go by the buildings. You'll say every building that you pass will be some type of business. And somebody at some point in time decided, this is what I want to do, and I'm going to start this type of business. And, and the, the ones that have the right type of business idea that are delivering value to the individuals, uh, customers, they're around. Um, however, I will say this, that we, uh, in, our, in my company, in my day job as a CPA, we work with some of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. These are the venture capitalists who started Silicon Valley and they've done deal after deal after deal. And uh, you find out that the landscape changes so you cannot necessarily you know, depend on what the past history has been to predict what the future is. So when you're looking at where you are now, the, the, the objective there is to forecast into the future of what this world is going to be like within three to five years. And uh, the, one of the best um, resources there, there's a the guy, his name's Harry Dent. Way back in the 90s, he started to write books about the advent of the baby boomers and the retirement and started to predict uh, what life would be like. In fact, in his book, he wrote about uh, you know the Schwinn bicycle in the 60s, a huge booming industry. Right, right. You know, people don't know where Schwinn is today. Because what happened is all those kids that rode the bikes, they grew up, and the market dried up there. Right. So um, what would be a beneficial type of networking? Because once you start a business, you're going to have to get customers, correct? What would yeah. you suggest? Well, let's, that let's, stay with this, let's stay with the concept of the baby boomers has really made a lot of businesses over the years. Right. Okay, so you look at... Uh, you know, one of the things that, that is going to stay constant in this world is, is the fact that you have a great big bubble of society growing older. Mm -hmm. Older people usually need some type of health care, you know, some type of servicing. That You know, when, when uh, the majority of this population is 75, 80 years old, they're not going to be running down to Costco filling up shopping carts. Right. Their needs in life are going to be somewhat different. And so when you look into the future, you know, you're going to have to really draw into the fact that uh, what we see today will not necessarily be what it's like then. For example, um, things that we get in our home, you know, the, 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 the tables, the chairs, the silverware, the little trinkets, they're not going to become as important in the future. 
And um, what will become more important and what's going to be more relevant, though, is the fact that technology will continue to change. Uh, five years ago, as an example, uh, or maybe seven years ago, you know, the name Facebook was not commonly known. Right. Mm -hmm. Yet Facebook just posted a billion dollar profit. You know, it was just recently announced this last week, a billion dollars in profit for the social media network that they've created. So I believe that people that are focusing on technology and uh, scaling their business with technology as a backbone will probably be around to the extent that they're able to find that niche to deliver some type of value. And focus on those baby, baby boomers that are going to be retiring soon. There you go. There you go. Um, there's other things that you look at uh, in your network to you assess your social media, your college alumni groups. Where do you find people that can help to, um, to enable you? If you're out of work, that network becomes more important. And um, if you don't have the network, then think about establishing one. Who do you like to deal with? Are, are you in some type of church group? The college and alumni associations, your service groups such as a Rotary Club, you know, to the extent you can expand that network and put something together, you know, the more likely you will have success out there. Would you suggest um, going to a consultant, perhaps, um, if you have a business idea to get, get it off the ground, or where would you find the seed money to create something like that? I believe getting a consultant is an excellent idea. In fact, we're going to have one coming on the show today. Uh, J.D. Bond, he, uh, this is his specialty in helping people finding resources, and he'll have lots of good ideas for people that are aspiring to do their own business as an entrepreneur and helping them understand how do you find people and resources in this world. So. So, so do you think that starting a business right now, there's massive unemployment, um, a huge amount, a lot of people, good people, smart people, MBAs, can't find a job? Do you think that's the next step for them, is to go into self-employment? Well, I think that, you know, you look at why can't they find a job. Well, you know, the, 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 what's happened is the world has changed underneath them. And so what they need to do is they need to re-engineer, you know, for what they're doing now. And um, as, they're, as they're looking into the future, these individuals should focus on where their passion is. And they, they could say, well, I used to do this, but that doesn't exist anymore. So... They want to forecast where they need to be and start working out so they can work for some type of successful business into the future. Well, I certainly hope that JDs might have some suggestions and solutions for them as they get started. <laughs> well, I think that I think he will. You know, it's interesting. We see every day people come in and uh, they're they're often looking at doing their own business. And I'll tell you two, two quick stories here. Had an individual come in. He was a researcher in a in a high tech company. And uh, he brought in all these spreadsheets. He says, Alan, he says, I need to sit with you for an hour. And he says, I put together this marvelous business plan. And he pulled out the paper. He says, I like your comments on it. Well, I looked at this, and he had five years of projected losses. <laughs> <laughs> so I turned to the guy. He says, um, are you uh, ever planning on making a profit? The guy with a straight face looked at me and says, I knew there was a reason I came to talk to you today. <laughs> <laughs> so so it, it turned out that we had the discussion about, you know, how do you build a sustainable business and putting cash flow, uh, positive cash flow together. You know, Microsoft, when they started out with Bill Gates and team, they never lost a dime. In fact, when the first quarter that they put that thing together, they were profitable. And there's no reason that a company needs to look at themselves and find themselves as I gotta spend a lot of money first in order to make the money later on. I... So so you're a CPA, so if I was starting a business it'd be wise that I come to you and have you take a look at my projections. That's what we're here for and we try to add value to that. So hey, this is Alan Olson with America Dreams Key to Life Success where we talk about how to live life you want to and what are your dreams and what do you want out of life. What defines your success? Stay tuned. We're having J.D. Bond, the founder and principal of J.D. Bond Consulting, come join us.